Welcome to this updated version on how to use your Canon DSLR EOS camera as a webcam with OBS. This probably works with other DSLR cameras. I don't know the exact process. This is for Canon specifically because it uses the Canon EOS utility. And of course it only works with those cameras that have the Canon EOS utility available to them. There is a link in the description where you can go and look to see if your camera is listed on there and download it. I also am not sure if every single one has the ability to live record uh, and it is necessary for this to work, but I don't know, you can look and see. Anyways, so we are going to start with OBS. This is uh, This tutorial is for OBS 17.0.2. Any of the newer ones, the one that I did before was a lot older version of OBS, so I decided to update it because a lot of things have changed. So, first thing we're going to do is plug your DSLR camera into your computer using the USB cable that it came with for you to hook it up to your computer and transfer files. I had a lot of people asking me what USB cable they're supposed to use, and it's whatever one came with your camera so that you can transfer your files to your computer. So, once your camera is plugged in to the computer, turn it on. At this point, you're going to open up the EOS utility once your camera is on and registers that it is in PC mode. So here's our EOS utility right here. You're going to go to camera settings and remote shooting. That's going to give you something that looks kind of like this. At that point, you're going to click on live shoot. Now that is going to bring up this remote live view screen. And that's me. Hey, how's it going? So at this point, you're going to make sure you want to turn off that little AF point display uh, because you don't want that popping up. And then we're going to move that to another screen. You have to have it open. Pretty sure you have to keep it open at all times or else it won't work. So then back in our open broadcaster, we're going to add a window capture. Call it whatever you want. I'm just calling it window capture. At this point, it's a little bit different from the last one because in the last one, we were able to choose a subregion. This doesn't quite have all of those options. However, it is still possible. Click OK. And then you are going to see this little red box. If you click on one of these dots, you can make it scale it larger or smaller. Whoops, I accidentally moved the background. And I'm going to set the camera down for this because i got to show you how to do it. So we are going to click on this dot but instead of just regular clicking you're going to hold alt first and then it'll actually allow you to change the size and shape pretty much of this window so you're going to want to bring the edges and everything down so that it is just the camera once you let go of alt if you scale it you're going to be able to use it just like a webcam you could scale it to whatever size and there you have it. You've got your DSLR live shooting right now as your webcam in the corner of your screen for whatever you need it for. So there you go. It's pretty simple. It's actually probably simpler now in this version of uh, OBS than it was in the last one. So thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for watching the other video. It's actually one of our most popular videos. Uh, if you appreciated this video and it was helpful, please like it and share it and all that stuff. And if you want to see some more, uh, maybe a few more tutorial videos, videos mostly Let's Plays uh, from some hilarious people like myself, please subscribe to the channel. It uh, would do me a huge favor, and it's awesome. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.